Morning all. It's midwinter and it's a Wednesday. And Wednesday is my delivery day. So we're gonna go check on my delivery. It's, it's uh, about 8 a.m. And normally I wake up and I'm surprised because I never heard it come. But every Wednesday, I get delivered. Whee. I don't know if the box is. Beach roots. Mushrooms. Look at those lovely portobellos. Avocados. Yep. Kale in a compostable bag. Ooh, shiitake mushrooms. Carrots. Sweet potatoes. Bag. Yeah. White potatoes. Good stuff. Let me put this away then. Got some hummus as well. Yeah. That guy, it's always like Santa Claus. Like, I'm always amazed that I never hear him come. And I come downstairs. And there the presents are, the gifts of good food, organic produce grown in the UK, most of it grown in the UK. Um, but I, basically since I moved back to Derby, when I was in Bristol I used to shop at there was Chi Foods, Better Foods, Matter Foods and Waitrose. Um, so I'd get most of my produce from there. Since moving back to Derby, there's no Waitrose, there's, there's one whole food shop in town, it's kind of... I don't go there that often, it's a bit out of the way. And um, Sainsbury's was the best option, but I just noticed how much more pa plastic packaging that was having then. And once you have that period without it, you start to, it really starts to highlight to you, you know, how much time you're putting plastic into the bin and that your trash is filled with plastic and it's just... Anyway, I wanted to find a solution to it. And it's not, it's not like the craziest thought out solution. <laughs> But someone just said, oh, why don't you just get rid of it? And I thought, oh yeah, I think I'd, I'd ordered them before. I think when I, when I came out of my fast, I ordered Riverford so I could get um, carrot and celery and I was making juices. And so I was getting a bit of that. Um, but yeah, I completely forgot about it. My friend just reminded me. I thought, yeah, okay. And so I went on Riverford and again, it's, it's, I think a lot of people think it's where you just order a veg box and you get anything, but you can specify exactly what you want in the order. And so I, you know, I get what you've seen here, the sweet potatoes, mostly sweet potatoes, um, <laughs> carrots, mushrooms is a, is a big staple. And the only other thing I really get, so I go to the Whole Food shop to buy rice. They sell uh, three kilo bags. And if I'm out, sometimes I pop to Sainsbury's, they sell organic rice that's in cardboard as well, which is good. Um, I buy frozen peas, which I sometimes add to the stuff, to my rice and veg mix and I buy chestnuts is my main snack chestnuts and carrots are my main snack at the moment I'm not really eating much fruit I have some goji berries as well and like goji berry and ginger tea that I make sometimes but essentially now my order comes once a week I order it when when the pantry starts to run out then I just eat a little bit less options in, in each meal <laughs> you know I've always got some rice and peas and, and some potatoes or uh, a squash on the go so there's always some carb I can get to f to fuel me and um and I really like it I really enjoy it and, and it you know I know it's not perfect it's not growing my own in the allotment yet but um it's a step towards that like I say it's supporting local British and for me it's just a big step it's trying to step outside the matrix, and I know that's—I don't know what better word I could use. Really, it's quite a 
it's got a lot attached to it that word matrix because of the, the movies and stuff but it's very but it, I can't, it's the most accurate word I can think of there is a system in place that most of us in society are leaning on to survive every day you know into supermarkets and everything as part of it and the more we lean on it the more it is able to ask from us you know and the more we're scared to lose that the more it can continue to ask from us and the more we're going to keep leaning into it even more and so especially with what's happening in the world today the solution is to start to build systems outside of it and support the systems in place that are already outside of it and for me I see something like Riverford or there are, um, there are other business Able and Cole and other things that exist that are providing a service that is out somewhat out so obviously it's still ordered online and stuff like that but it's, it's it feels like it's supporting something that's outside of the current system that is this matrix and not only that is the, the food that I'm putting in my body is not matrix food it's not processed it's not um, so much out of my control yeah of course it's, you know I don't know what's turning up in my door it could be you know there's there's other ways of things to get in place but for the most part I, I'm aware of what it is and it's whole food grown by the earth mostly in the UK it's a big part I really think and I'm maybe speak, preaching to the choir here but I just think it's such a big part that if if we're frustrated with what's happening right now is that we make choices all of ourselves make personal choices to support the systems outside of that and that if that you know fate you have to face challenge I used to eat chocolate every evening and you know crisps and all sorts of daily snacks that I'd go into supermarkets and buy. I still occasionally buy naked bars and things. But all sorts of of these habits that I knew weren't serving me that I was I'd buy actually those carb killer bars from every time I went to a petrol station or every time after the gym session I'd buy a carb killer and snack on it or even the eat natural bars. When you look at the ingredients on those things and there's you know there's all the, the rice syrup and chemicals and, and other things which you know there's there's a spectrum of what's you know from like a full-on chocolate bar to the eat natural to naked bars it is a spectrum and it's dealing with where you're at but I just could reckon like my box where in my car the little compartment to the side of the driver's seat was and I noticed that fill up with snack bar wrappers I'd just be like Tim this is like staring you in the face this little addiction here um, and so just I don't think I've emotionally gotten over the desire to do that but physically I'm not feeding it and I'm setting up parameters around where I'm, I'm sustained and I'm satiated and I'm um, nourished without that stuff and so I've still got like I say the emotional work to deal with the desire to want that stuff but I'm, I'm setting up a world where it's because it's so easy man it's there's a they are literally there's like a, the corner shop down the road here and the bright lights outside and it's open till really late and it's just filled with such toxic ingredient food and snack bars it's a drugstore it really is a drugstore and if you're not in control of that these chemicals the sh sugar chocolate caffeine alcohol and cigarettes are just such commonly used drugs and i know probably most people alcohol and cigarettes is, is maybe not so common but in, that maybe watch this but the sugar chocolate and caffeine affect affect your mood their chemicals they affect they affect your chemistry and they alter you and they take and change you from your natural state so they are I don't yeah I'm not trying to be preachy or condescending or anything they are drugstores those things are drugstores and, and just trying to set up systems in place where you you're nourishing you your outside of the matrix and you're supporting systems outside of the matrix is just something I want to recommend and so Riverford was something in my life that's come to recently that actually is a highlight in my week when I you get the order in online you update the order what you want and then by Monday night the orders the orders put in place and so whatever's in the order Monday night comes on Wednesday morning for me it might be Sunday night actually but anyway I'm, I'm on it ahead of time um, and it to my area they only deliver once a week so I have no choice when it comes it just comes on that one day they leave it around the back of my house and it really, it really is a cool system that's there that exists. There are, you know, and I like to support that. And the guy, every, every, every delivery, every week, 
Guy's News, I think it's the founder of Riverford. Just a one page thing and it's always really nice to read about the, the season they're in and what's going off. Um, you know, and even he wrote one week about the they're trying to make protests illegal and he wrote about the importance of trying to counter that and had a link to the petition against it and things. So big up Guy, big up Riverford. Even when I started the order, they gave me a personal phone call to check um, my address and that the order was right. Like the person from Riverford actually phoned me, reached out to check everything was all good. Um, so I just really like it and maybe you heard it, maybe you already used them, maybe you, you don't need it, you've got other organic shops in your area. But I wanted to share that with you guys um, and on top of that I think there's there's even a then this isn't why I'm sharing and hopefully you can feel that it's not I wanted to share it but the I think there's a 15 pound off discount code that's in my account so I'll find it and I'll put it here that you get 15 pounds off and I get 15 pounds off if you use it so that's just a bonus if you did sign up with Riverford to check that out but that's that's not why I'm sharing I just wanted to say find a system in your area that is outside of the matrix that's that's a change from the system you currently have that may be more in the matrix to one that's more outside and try to work towards that and food when I the other day I summarized health to to four things and I should do a video on this more specifically because there's a lot of details for each thing but I was just like this is my current theory on simple health and that's whole foods Emotional work, which is the most important because that's the above everything else that supersedes it all. The soul work, emotional work, so whole foods, emotional work. Unblocking the meridians. Now that's something that's from the east that is overlooked. That's your energy systems in your body. Maybe, you know, we look at chakras and that. Meridians are something that's more tangible to me in the sense that I can... Uh, when meridian is blocked, I can feel it and I can really, I know how to really, I'm learning how to release it now and I can f actually feel the change that makes from the meridian system to the organ it's connected to. So I'm blocking meridians and then number four, <laughs> whole foods, emotional work, unblock meridians, immerse, immersion in nature, don't fit or don't fear nature. So spending time outdoors. Um, that includes, you know, this sanitize, sanitizing our hands, killing all the all the good bacteria and the bad uh, the bad bacteria and the good bacteria, and you know, damaging your gut biome and stuff with the, the amount we're overly overly don't be too clean. Obviously, cleanliness, hygiene, but hygiene that's more in line with nature, not this over chemical hygiene. You know walking barefoot on the ground, spending time in nature, spending time in, in the quiet, in the peace of nature, in all seasons, observing it. So we are, like what well, Alan Watts said, an a apple tree, apples, the world, peoples. We are from nature, of nature, part of nature, intertwined with nature. I think there's a certain other element, that a spark that God may have put in us as well, combined with the nature that's around us. Um, so, the, yeah. The soul work is the connecting to God, recognizing our potential, our, uh, who we truly are work. And then the immersion in nature is this physical reality, the earth realm we're currently in. So yeah, whole foods, well, emotional work, numero uno, however you, you do that, study, whatever, therapist, whatever, divine truth, eating a whole food diet. I'm currently uh, plant-based, actually, it's the first week I've not ordered eggs with my order. Um, Meridian unblocking, that's something I'm going to share on more in the future as we come up. If you wanted to research yourself, Pida Lajin is what I'd recommend for that, for self-serving that. And then connecting with nature. So yeah, that's just what I wanted to share this video. Um, anything I mention, I'll have links below. But yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you're all, uh, you know, having a strong winter, doing what you need to do. Again, leaning into winter, not trying to fight it or trying to do too much leaning into your emotions. It is kidney and bladder season in the traditional Chinese medicine, which is the emotion of fear. So if that's coming up for you, leaning into fear. And uh, yeah, much love and Godspeed.